In all murder cases, ladies and gentlemen, evidence of motive is extremely powerful and extremely important evidence. Motive points toward the killer. There is always a motive for every murder. For instance, revenge, hatred, money, fear, passion, escape. People simply do not go around killing other human beings for no reason whatsoever. There is always a reason. There is always a motive. Likewise, there was a motive for these murders. The fact that the motive for these murders was not a typical motive does not make it any less of a motive. Charles Manson and Charles Manson alone had a motive for these barbaric murders. It was an incredibly bizarre motive. The motives that the co-defendants, the actual killers had on the other hand, was a very simple motive. It was not bizarre. They killed the people, quote, because Charlie told us to. One thing is abundantly clear, that the motive for these seven horrendous murders was not money. It was not burglary or robbery. These savage murders were not committed to effectuate a robbery. If that had been the motive, there wouldn't have been any need to stab Wojtek Frykowski 51 times, to hit him 13 times over the head with a blunt object and shoot him twice. There would have been no need to stab Rosemary LaBianca so many times. There wouldn't have been any need for any of these victims to have been murdered so mercilessly. One gunshot would have sufficed. And if robbery or burglary had been the motive, there wouldn't have been any need to print the words in the victim's blood at the scene of both residences. In view of the unbelievably savage nature of these murders, and in view of the fact that hardly anything at all was taken from either the Tate or the La Bianca residences, and in view of all the other evidence in this case, including the statements of Manson, Watson, Atkins, that I have just referred to, a conclusion that these seven murders were perpetrated to help carry out some burglary or robbery would not seem to be consistent with the evidence in this case. The mission, ladies and gentlemen, the mission of these defendants on both nights was murder. Clear and simple, murder, no other reason. Now why were these murders committed? Well, this trial answered that question. There appears to be three motives for these murders. There was Manson's hatred, his hatred for human beings and his passion and lust for their violent death. Anyone who could order these seven savage, horrendous murders had to have a lust, a passion for violent death. The evidence at this trial amply showed Manson's complete immersion and engrossment and preoccupation with death, blood, and murder. Another motive, another motive, was Manson's extreme anti-establishment hatred. Unquestionably, on both nights, Charles Manson was viciously striking out at the establishment. And with respect to the Tate residents particularly, the establishment's rejection and repudiation of him. Of course, the principal motive for these murders, the main motive, was helter-skelter. Manson's fanatical obsession, his mania with helter-skelter. Helter-skelter was Charlie's religion, a religion that he lived by. To Manson, helter-skelter was the black man rising up against the white man, and then the black-white war. Keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that murders as extremely bizarre as these murders were, almost by definition, by definition, are not going to have a simple, common, everyday type of motive. Just imagining the incredible barbarism and senselessness of these murders would leave one to conclude that the person who masterminded them had a wild, twisted, bizarre reason for ordering them. The evidence at this trial shows that Charles Manson is that person who had that motive. And the trial showed what that motive was. I, as a prosecutor, and you folks as members of the jury, cannot help it. We cannot help it if Manson had this wild, crazy idea about Helter Skelter. It's not our fault. Manson is the one that made the evidence, not us. We can only deal with the evidence that presents itself. That evidence was that he wanted to start this black-white war out in the streets. This is what the evidence was that came from that witness stand. On the very day of the Tate murders, a matter of hours before these five murders, Linda Kasabian testified that Manson said, quote, now is the time for Helter Skelter. After dropping Tex, Katie, and Leslie off at the La Bianca residence as they were driving away on the freeway, Manson told Linda, quote, I have to show Blackie how to do it. Of course, he then gives Linda the wallet and tells her to hide the wallet and says, I hope a black person finds it and uses the credit cards. 
thereby leading the white community to believe that black people had committed these murders. On the refrigerator door at the La Bianca residence, we find the words Helter Skelter printed in blood. We know the killers printed those words. Rise and death to pigs printed in blood on the living room wall of the La Bianca residence. War was carved in Alino's stomach. Rise, death to pigs, war. All these terms are tied in with Manson's fanatical obsession with Helter Skelter. Manson and the family used the term Helter Skelter constantly. It was an everyday word with them. Even a song composed by Charles Manson had the words Helter Skelter in there. The song Helter Skelter, as recorded by the Beatles, was played over and over again by Manson and the family. When these defendants and Charles Tex Watson printed the word pig at the Tate residence and the words death to pigs, rise and Helter Skelter and war at the La Bianca residence, instead of those words, ladies and gentlemen, they may just as well have printed the name Charles Manson. It is that obvious. Those words and Charles Manson are synonymous. The prosecution at this trial put on some very, very powerful evidence of motive. All of it, all of it unerringly and irresistibly pointed in one direction toward these defendants, and particularly Charles Manson. And his honor will instruct you, his honor will instruct you that you may consider evidence of motive. You may consider motive evidence as evidence of the guilt of these defendants. 